sister. Sometimes she doesn't pick up my phone calls. Sometimes she just goes. And she had ex-boyfriend as a friend. It's a very difficult thing. Tracks my phone a lot. And recently, he saw that I was at a friend's house. And he, like, flipped out and said I had to be cheating on him and everything I have there. Well, first and foremost, is the second that you hear him talk about how <laughs> that, you know, the ex-boyfriend the ex is still in her life, he's still in the picture. That's when you know that pff, security in their relationship is going to be a tough one. Trust is going to be something that's going to be played with and tested heavily. And clearly, that's obviously what has been happening. Hmm. Fitting. <laughs> but then to hear that this man has been tracking her movements. What is it with 90 day people tracking people's movements? I'm not saying this is something that only happens on 90 day fiance. This is obviously something that does happen in real life. There are people who do share their location and their partners can watch their every single move, every single step. Listen, in a, in a healthy relationship, I guess, yeah, it is what it is. In an unhealthy relationship, ooh, <laughs> the idea just gives me shivers. But nonetheless though, let's continue with Via. You know, nobody. Right. So I ended up inviting Rory. Your ex? Yeah. I doesn't really like the idea of me being friends with him. So bringing my ex to South Africa, I mean, it could up my whole relationship, but. There is no but. <laughs> there is no but. You're bringing your ex, the same ex that your current partner does not approve of with you because of your anxiety. That's what the but was. But I have anxiety, you know, and uh, yeah. Okay, cool. So somebody that understands anxiety doesn't mean that you bring your ex. Why not bring one of your friends if they can come with you? Or why not wait until you can go with one of your friends? You wait long enough anyway. I mean, other people do all the time. Tiger Lily's off with her friends. Well, you know, colleagues, whatever. Chantel in the last season of The Single Life, she went to Greece with all of her friends. So, you know, the option of bringing your friends with you is easily there. Bring your ex as if you're the new Veronica and Tim. What the hell is going on here? <laughs> wow. Crazy. Oh, yeah, and it may damage my relationship. You don't think. You don't think it may damage your relationship. The fact that you believe that it may damage your relationship with Sonny is wild. There is no may. It will. If it doesn't. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> with my anxiety, be react to big things. He, well, and that's why I don't want to tell him not? because I don't want him to like that he can just see it from my side. You know, like I feel like if we're together, like why wouldn't he trust me or why wouldn't he understand? Imagine that blindsiding your current partner that you're coming to South Africa with your ex without him knowing and then believing just because you two are not going to be in the same vicinity, everything's going to be okay. <laughs> Okay, so here's the question that I have. When her and her ex make it to South Africa, what does she expect her ex to do? What I mean is, how is he going to keep himself ent entertained? Where is he going to stay? Is he going to stay in another co a building, in another complex? Is he going to share the same room with you? When you and Sonny are out on your dates or doing whatever you got to do, is he going to be there watching your every move, there having his own opinions? Or is he going to be going off in South Africa and uh, enjoying his own royal oats? You know what I mean? Enjoying the sun that they have there, enjoying the beautiful women that they have there, enjoying the culture that is there? <sighs> if you ask me, that's not going to happen. So the fact that you're bringing X is probably going to be there at every single step of the way whilst you're with Sonny trying to get to know each other for the first time physically, person, you know, in, in person, your ex is going to be there. So I don't know why she thinks that, oh, yeah, being a person is going to be better. It's, it's supposed to be better, but not, not with this situation going, not, with, not in this circumstance. <sighs> wow. I mean, listen, a little background for the people who didn't see the episodes. I know not everybody likes to see the, 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 the show anymore. This is a girl that has come from a foster system. She came from a family, I believe, of eight siblings, um, and they were all spread out. I mean, I think that I think they're all in connection now. I'm not too sure, but either way, they're all spread out. So she definitely got a lot of inconsistency within her life that I, I, that I would say when it comes to um, family, by the by, by the looks of it, a lot of inconsistency when it comes to um, partnerships, like having people around all the time. So you'd say that maybe she has a little bit of abandonment issues. Who knows? But either way, though, the fact that she wants to bring her, <sighs> Jesus Christ. they're on the wrong show. 
They shouldn't be on 90 Day Fiance. They should be me. Wait, uh, wait, me, my, what's the show called again? The other show? Me, something, something, and my ex? Me, my partner, my ex? Nice. No, that's, that's not the name of it. But you, you know what show I'm talking about? You know the other TLC show they have? Me, me, something, and my ex? That's, that's the one, that's the one they should be on. Me, and something, <laughs> and my ex. <laughs> I forgot the name of the show. It's a TLC show. Um, you know, uh, ah, oh man. Uh, yeah, that's it. That's it. That's it. That's it. You, me, and my ex. I do apologize for the the, the, the little vibe there. Yeah, you, you two are on the wrong show. It should be you, me, and my ex. That's that's the show you should be on. Shouldn't be on Night Day Fiance, but this is absolutely ridiculous. It's also like uh, um, Ariana, Ari, Ari, Ariala, Ari. Ari, Ari and Benny, yeah, we saw her still having her ex in her relationship, you know, which is wild to me. Nonetheless, though, I've said what I've got to say. Let me know what you're thinking, because of course I'm just, I'm just gonna go around in circles at this point. <laughs> so hey, don't forget to like, subscribe, and of course, peace.